Hey guys, Prepper Nurse One here. Uh, today is Saturday, July 13th. This is my second video of the day. I figured I would throw a second one up here, 2019. Uh, I wanted to do a solar overview and talk about my solar and all that type of stuff so we could... Uh, I think I'm going to start like a playlist for solar, kind of give you guys updated every day of what we're doing and that type of stuff. So want to talk about my solar system, where we started at, obviously where we're at now. Uh, it was absolutely clear blue skies all day long, absolutely gorgeous. And uh, I think we set our record for our solar input today. It's 7 o'clock right now. So you're going to see a first video goes up first, and then I'll put this one up second. But uh, So talking about my solar, okay. So we started out, we started out with uh, marine deep cycle batteries and... Uh, then, uh, so we started out with those to see how, you know, we thought that might be a good, or what are they, no, no, I'm sorry, no, we did not, no. We started out with Trojan T105s. Those were our first batteries that we had, and I had um, eight of those, I believe it was, okay? So we started out with eight Trojan T105s. We had, uh, I had 750 watts, to, uh, three 250 watt solar panels, that's where we started out when we first got up here. Uh, we just celebrated our fourth year up here full time, so we just started our fifth year now, obviously. So when we first got up here that first year, we put three solar panels up, which were right here. If you guys want to go back and look at the older videos. And so we started out with that. Well, we got through that first winter, and we had a 12-volt system, okay? So we got through that first winter, and uh, I realized really, really quickly that we needed to upgrade our solar. So that spring, hey, Bubba Lub, I had said to the kids, I said, what is the most important thing to you right now? What do you want more than anything else? And, of course, the answer was more solar. So what we ended up doing is I bought uh, three more solar panels that spring, and we upgraded from a 12-volt system to a 24-volt system. We upgraded our inverter, we upgraded our charge controller. And I will take you in and I will show you those um, when we go in into the, um, the battery room, okay? So when we upgraded, I actually sold my T105 uh, batteries and I brought uh, Trojan L16E batteries. They're more of a, a deep cycle battery for off-grid. And so we ended up getting 12 of those and they were not cheap. I will tell you that. Uh, the 12 batteries, it was about $3,000 for those 12 batteries, okay? And so after we did that, I went out and bought uh, more solar panels the next year, and we added uh, four 255 watt panels to the system. And then the following spring, which was last year, uh, we ended up purchasing five more panels, and we had... Uh, Three of them didn't go up until this year, but we put up two of them in the other solar rack that we had made, and that solar rack was over here. So we had the one rack was here, we had the other six panels were over here. So we had six here, and we have we had 12 panels here. Um, this year, obviously, oh look at the cat in the hole, that's so funny. Um, so this year, we upgraded again. Uh, we put in the new solar rack this year, okay? And so we added in the other three panels in with that. So we have 4,020 watts of solar up in that solar rack right now. Um, since we've put that solar rack up, we have done very, very, very well um, as far as solar. Okay. Uh, now, you're going to look at that and people are going to say to me, well, wait a minute, that's not set at a summer angle, that's set at a winter, winter angle. And you are absolutely 100% correct, it is set more at a winter angle, but we produce enough power, even though it's summertime right now, more than enough power than what we use for our, for our system, okay? So uh, we have, you know, like I said, we have that, and, uh, and it works great, okay? It's, uh, it's, it's really been really good. Now, the next step is obviously we, right now, that, so that all goes underground, comes out there. Eventually, right there where you see the pipes coming out of the ground, that is going to be uh, another building that's go going to house the charge controller, the inverters, um, or the two charge controllers, and then an inverter, uh, and the batteries and everything else will be in a building there. Because right now, that's running from there, comes out over here, and here goes underground, goes over here, and into um, the shop where we have our, our, our room right now. Okay, 
So that's how we have it set up for right now. So with getting eventually getting that all out of here and getting things over here, that's going to give us that nice short run from there to the batteries, which is going to be much, much more efficient. But for right now, that's what we're doing because we just did this in June. So it's a matter of saving up some money so that I can put another build a small building here and get that in place. And uh, when we did the trench to uh, for putting in the solar rack and stuff like that, we discovered a spring over on this side that was weeping in and filling up there. So we that's what that other pipe is. We um, and then Heather's taking the puppies in. So we just got back from a, like an absolutely fantastic ride, but. Uh, so that's what that is. That is another way of collecting water. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you into the building. Oh, there's Miss Molly going to Heather. So then we got Max and Buddy over here. Uh, of course the mosquitoes are out and there's Miss Soxie. But uh, so anyway, you can see that storm is coming in. So I wanted to get this video done before the storm got here because we could see it coming. It was pretty wild watching it while we were riding. Because, I mean, we literally went from just straight, beautiful sunshine to all of a sudden we saw the overcast coming in. And over here is Gelco. Oh, the British flag fell down. Heather, you want to grab that ladder right there and set it up for me? And I'll put that back up when I come back out. Okay, so let me take you guys in here. And we'll figure out what we pulled in today. Okay, so here's our battery system. Okay, so we have 12, like I said, they're L16E Trojan batteries. And you can see they're pretty tall. And so we have a 24-volt system. So basically what we have is three batteries here is what you want to call it. Um, they're 6-volt batteries. You tie four of them together, you got your 24-volt battery. So well, that way we have basically three batteries, okay? And everything is tied into our system here. Now, okay, so we've got a new record too. So we have pulled in 3.5 kilowatt hours on this side, okay? We have pulled 4.1 kilowatt hours on this side. So we're at 7.6 kilowatt hours. Um, best day of the year for solar. I mean, it was absolutely gorgeous today. So that has been our best day so far this year uh, as far as bringing in power. Batteries are 100%. Right now it's saying we're in float. So it's doing really, really well. Okay, so we got our batteries down here. Uh, up here we have our Ames inverter, okay? And I'm going to show you my old inverter because I never took it down. But uh, so when we upgraded to a 24, we, uh, it's a 24 volt inverter and charger. So what does that mean? What it means is in the wintertime when we're not getting as much uh, power in, we have this hooked up to the generator as well. So when we're running the generator, it's not only powering the house, but it's also uh, putting juice into the batteries. So that's why we got that system, uh, because we do live in New York. So, And then here's everything's tied together in this box here, and so that's how we do it. But we have two of the classic 150 uh, Midnight Classics. They're awesome. Absolutely fantastic uh, charge controllers. I have no complaints on them at all. Uh, here was our old inverter. We had a 3,000 watt uh, digital power inverter, and so that was the old inverter. It's still good, still works. Um, just ha obviously haven't used it now in three years. So, but uh, I actually need to throw that into a Faraday cage, is what I need to do. But um, so, like I said, we went with the Ames um, inverter. And this is freaking awesome. Uh, it is a, just a fantastic inverter. We've had absolutely no issues with it whatsoever. Now, when we got started, guys, all right, we're going to step out of here. Actually, we're still bringing in power, too, at the moment. So, but when we first got started, I'm not going to lie, I fried two uh, inverters. Bam, bam. Just like that. Wired wrong, did it wrong. Uh, so, you learn. Um, if you are looking to go off-grid, if you're looking to do your own system and stuff like that and do the install and everything yourself like we did, uh, it definitely definitely makes a huge, huge difference um, knowing what you're doing because it's like, first of all, I don't want to destroy equipment because it's way too expensive. But the other thing that I would suggest to anybody is don't go cheap. Uh, don't buy cheap equipment because when you buy cheap equipment, 
that's what you get. It's, it's not as efficient, and it makes all the difference in the world. It's just like with the solar rack, okay? We had the racks, homemade racks that we had here. They worked. They served their purpose while we had them. But since we put in the solar rack this way and have a good rack in here now, uh, it has been so much more efficient and so much better uh, for us here at the homestead. And uh, it really has made all the difference in the world. It really, really, truly has. Um, again, we're going to be continuously upgrading things uh, as we go. You know, everything you tweak it. Year to year, you're tweaking it. So, you know, like, uh, like my focus this year, and I've talked about this before, but anybody new that's listening, uh, was getting this solar rack in. That was one of my priorities this year, and we got that job done. Uh, that was not cheap. Okay, so I'm going to take you actually over to the solar rack. And I'll show you how we got it set up here. But everything runs down. It's underground. And it comes up here. And like I said, for right now, we've just got it jerry-rigged so that it can go right in and then into the building over here. But eventually, we're going to have a building right here that's going to house, uh, like I said, the batteries, the charge controllers, um, and the inverter. is all going to be in here. But the way this is set up is, you know, everything is wired. It's coming down into here, then it's got the pipes, they go down, everything is underground. We have an extra wire on each one of these. So this is uh, basically what we did is six of the panels are wired together, okay? Uh, that's the first one you saw, and the other nine are wired together, okay? So these nine panels here are all wired in, and they all like I said, go down into the pipes. Now, I did want to show you... If we want to adjust this down the road, we absolutely can. We basically have to have five guys on ladders. Everybody loosens everything up, and you would move everything together. Okay, you'd probably actually have to have more. You'd have to. We'd have to disconnect these. Okay, uh, so support bars, and then we would have to adjust it out. And uh, so that's how that would have to be done. So in, in all reality. I pull enough power in with this system um, in the summertime that I can just leave it like this so that it's more optimal for the winter. Um, I'm actually pretty excited to see what we end up pulling in this winter because, like I said, we have 900 more watts of, pull, uh, of solar up this year, and now everything is up. Uh, before, if you look at the, at the older videos, like six of my panels were like very short, close to the ground. And uh, so, you know, in the other rack, I was, like, cleaning it all the time. With this rack the way this is, even if we're going to get some snow, it's going to melt off and it's going to slosh right off. So it's going to be a lot easier to maintain and take care of, which is going to be great. I'm still going to get some kind of a squeegee to clean these off. But, uh, no, these, this, is, this has been fantastic. I, I'm, I'm not going to lie. Um, like I said, today we've pulled in 7.6 kilowatt hours. And, you know, and it's still going to be light for a couple more hours yet, so we'll probably even go a little bit higher. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do like a playlist, uh, put this into a playlist, and then we will, uh, you know, probably do an update on what we got during the week with solar. Uh, I may do like, uh, I might do it every day, I don't know yet, just do a quick video, let you guys know what we brought in that particular day and how it went and stuff like that. So... But uh, it, it's pretty neat. It's, uh, it's been an interesting ride to learn how to do this, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I definitely would recommend, if you're looking to go with solar, get together and talk with somebody that's done it, that's living it. Uh, I am absolutely available to talk to anybody. I would help anybody. Another great resource is Bill and Rosa Off Grid. Uh, he's the one I, I spoke with when I got going, and he's the one that told me, this is the way you need to do it. And because he'd already been living off-grid, and we were brand new off-grid at that point, I absolutely listened to him. He knew what he was talking about. And if you listen to people that know what they're talking about and let them help you, it makes your life a lot easier. It makes your life a lot more comfortable. So now what do we run on our solar? Okay, that's always a big question that I have on here. All right. We have a refrigerator that we run all the time, a full-size normal refrigerator that we run um, the only time we don't run it is when we go to bed at night, we kill our power. So how do we keep the refrigerator cold? Have a couple big ice blocks in the freezer, like three of them in the freezer, and then I have another smaller ice block that I put inside the refrigerator itself. Keeps everything cold. The freezer stays frozen. Have not ever had an issue with that at all, okay? 
but from the minute we get up and we turn the power on, we run that refrigerator all day long. We also have a hot water on demand unit that we use that obviously is run on our power as well. So when we're taking a shower, obviously that's running and we use that as well. Man, that storm is coming. I'm going to kick this around, guys, so you can see this, okay? Um, then we also have the water pump. That storm is coming. Um, we also have a water pump, a Gould water pump, inside the house uh, from the storage tank. So when we're taking a shower or we're using water in the sink or whatever we're using it for, we use that as well. We have normal lights in the house. Uh, I can run an air conditioner off my unit. We generally don't because we just usually run fans uh, because of the shade. And I'm going to kick this around again. I'm sorry I keep doing this to you guys. But because of the shade of the trees over the house, it definitely helps it keep the house cooler. And it's insulated very, very well. We went with rock sol insulation. It's called rock wool now. But it was rock sol insulation at the time. And, uh, man, freaking mosquitoes. Um, so that's what, you know, that's what we used for that, okay? Keeps the house cool so we can stay comfortable with fans inside. So that's what we do. Um, just normal lights like everybody else. I run my laptop. The kids are always running their laptop. So there's generally, um, at any given time, there's three laptops running constantly, okay? So, you know, kids are on there's obviously more than I am, but, you know, in the evenings, we're always on our laptops and we're basically running off our batteries. And now our normal time to go to bed, uh, summertime, so 1, 2 o'clock in the morning, and we are on solar that entire time. Now again, I'm freaking mosquitoes, I'm telling you. So we'll find out this winter how it's going to go when the winter gets here. Um, I did want to mention real quick, we're doing the prepper get-together at Letchworth State Park, August 17th. Uh, it starts at 9 in the morning, and it runs until 10 o'clock at night, and that's going to be at Eddie's Pavilion. It's E-D-D-Y-S. Absolutely free to come. Um, you have to pay to get into the park, obviously. I will providing, uh, be providing hot dogs and hamburgers for everybody. So uh, just wanted to mention that real quick. So if you're interested, more than welcome to come. Just let me know so I can kind of get an idea of a head count of how many people we're going to have. So uh, that's what we're going to be doing. And that is August 17th. And again, that's going to be at Letchworth State Park. If you go to my Facebook page, Prepper Nurse One um, on Facebook, I have a thing right on there for an event. It gives all the information right on there. Okay, so go check that out. And if you want to click on there and say, yeah, we're coming, that's fine too. Uh, again, guys, remember, we are all in this together. That's important to remember. I'm going to kick this around here one more time, guys, so you can just see this coming in. Uh, we are all in this together. That's really important to remember. Also remember, guys, hug and kiss the ones you love. Uh, and also, you know, like I said, tell them every single day. Tomorrow's not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life. And again, um, remember, guys, STD. It's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only one that's going to stop you from getting there is yourself. Nobody else can stop you, okay? Uh, I'll, I'll do some more solar videos explaining the system just inside the battery room and how that works. And uh, so I definitely will do more of that for you guys. But uh, again, I know people have been asking about the solar and how we did it and how where we've come from. So I hope that's kind of a good explanation of what we've done over the you know four plus years that we have been here now. And it's always a work in progress. So like I said, our next upgrade is definitely going to be more batteries. So <laughs> definitely need it now. So anyway, guys, I will talk to you later. I hope everybody's having a great day. Prepper Nurse 1, out for now.